Hello everyone and thanks for stopping by to Scrap and Craft with Terry and today we're going to make what I call standalone journal tags. Now I have all of my parts, my pieces and parts cut out and what needed to be inked, I already inked them. Have everything together in a little baggie just like it's a little kit. So of course I have pictures off to the side showing me what what I do for sure because there's quite a few pieces and I have little notes attached to my parts and so I can keep them all straight so um, each one I, I have five different tags that I want to do I'm sure but to start out with, the size of my tag is oh, approximately seven inches long. Finished size three and a half inches wide. So you would cut your you would cut your paper seven inches wide. Now you can make your tag however big you want. So depending on the size of your tag is going to be the size of your, your um, tags, your pockets, your belly bands, stuff like that. Now I'm just going to take a second and lay my pieces aside so I don't completely forget what it is I'm supposed to do here. Take all of my paper clips off. I had lots of paper clips. And all I'm using is um, cardstock for each one of the tags and the backgrounds of the little tags or the little pockets. And then I'm just using a uh, um, digitals. To put over top for the fancy paper so we'll just get started and I'm going to use I had all my stuff in a little plastic bag I'm going to use glue stick to glue my papers down and then I use Fabri-Tac to glue my pockets let me see this is what I want I went ahead and inked around everything because that just uses up time. And I can't say I'm a real fast inker, so let me get this all set up over here like it was supposed to be. I knocked it off. Hang on a second. Okay, that was a mess. I have quite a bit of stuff on my desk, so I need to clean it off. So I'll just start by gluing the outside edges. Now, each one of these um, journal tags, they'll start out the same way with the big tag. And each one of them is going to have something different about it. Each one is going to be made different. Now I didn't ink the black cardstock because it didn't show up anyway. So there was no sense of wasting the ink on that. Hopefully I'm in in view. Guess I need to move over a little bit. And I only lightly inked around the edge of the The, this paper just just highlighted a little bit I wasn't going to and then I thought maybe I should add a just to give it a little more color make it you know look like it's different don't know what I'm trying to say but that's that's what I'm going with anyway all right, so now we're gonna start with the front. I'm gonna do the front. 
Now, this is, put my paper over here. This is going to be a pocket, and it's going to sit on the front. I'll just glue all my pieces of paper down to the tags and the pockets and then I'll glue all of them on at the same time. I should have had that over a little farther. I'm able to take it off using my glue stick, the Fabri-Tac sets up too fast. And there we go. All right, so that's the pocket. And then I have two tags that's going to go in the pocket. And then after I get everything put together, I'll make the holes for the ribbon and the tags and do all of them at the same time. Now wait a minute, this one goes with the little belly band. This one goes with the big pocket. They're all going on the front anyway. Now these can either, you know, you can carry them in your bag, you can put them in your journal on a pocket, you can't really glue them in because whatever goes on the back you won't be able to get to it. can just have it for different notes that you want to make. Anything like that. I mean, I don't have to turn my paper. I'm using wax paper so it doesn't, so I can get it off easier. All right, and this is a belly band. Now what I'm going to do on here is, let me see, I'm going to glue this down as a pocket, so I'm going to glue all three sides. And if you want it left as a belly band, you can leave it as a belly band. And I have glue all over my fingers because, I don't know, my Fabri-Tac's going wonky lately. Must be the weather, maybe. Let me get my glue off my fingers. I'll be right back. Okay, that was a little bit of a mess. All right, now, I'm just going to glue my pocket down. And you can have your pocket going this way or this way, either one. I'm going to have it coming in from this side. Now I could have cut the little um, thumb slot into it, but I didn't. I don't really think it needs it, but 
Now I'm going to have a tag this way, so I'm going to have it coming in from this side. So I'm just going to glue this down in the center. And then my bigger tag will slide in the side. Now I'm going to put my belly band on here in the center. So I'm only going to glue down the top and the bottom. Then my two little tags, as soon as my glue sets up, my two little tags will just slide in the side, just like that. And then this tag will be in the pocket. Okay, so next I'm going to have, let me see, what am I doing here? I'm going to have stuff on the inside. Alright, so over on this side, yeah, I guess I want it against that side there. It's going to be my belly band. And then this tag is going to slide in here. Now the back of this is gray. So this can all be used for journaling. So I'm going to just glue this down on there. Guess I have to take the lid off. Hope I'm not confusing anybody as to what I'm doing. Sometimes I have to stop here and figure out what it is I'm doing. Okay, but when they're all put together, I think they look pretty neat. A lot of, lot of um, places for journaling. In any of these pockets, you know, you can add extra journal paper or extra tucks. You just have to watch how thick you might make it because, you know, of the tag. And then this will go in here like this. So I'll just glue the two ends down. Just kind of center it a little bit and leave it in a little from the edge. Just have to make sure that I didn't put too much glue on it so I can get my pocket in there. Otherwise, I might have to cut my pocket a little shorter. But we'll let that sit for a minute and then we'll see. I can adjust it at the top and bottom a little bit. Okay, so now we'll set these over here till we're ready to put them in. Now next, on this side over here, we're going to have pockets and tags. We're going to have a little tag at the top, kind of medium, now a little longer. So I just need to glue these on. It took me a little while to figure out what all I wanted to do with these. Trying to figure out, you know, different things that you can do with tags. Tags and pockets and tucks.
Hope everyone's having a good day today. We're having another really nice fall day. Sorry if I'm off camera. I'm just just um, putting the glue on. Straighten that up a little bit. There. Oh, I got to turn the volume down on my other phone. So, get notifications. Concentrating on what I'm doing, I guess. I can always think of things to talk about until, you know, until I have to do something. Sometimes if I talk too much, then I um, forget what I'm supposed to be doing. And now, just put these tags down kind of close together. I have to make sure my small tag doesn't go over the top. I don't want it to stick out over the top. Because it'll have ribbon up there, so. So I think I'll glue this down first. Then we'll go from there. When you make these tags, you can you can come up with so many different ways of altering them. They're going to be kind of close together, but I think they'll be all right. Just got to make sure that I don't glue my tag in. There, that'll work. Now I'll put the bottom one on. Then I'll put my center one in, and I won't run out of room on the bottom. If everyone figures that this is interesting so far. I don't want to board anybody. Now that can sit right in the center there. And I'm just keeping the sides in a little bit. Oh, I tore my paper because my finger stuck to it. Well, let's see if we can fix it. Let me just try to glue it down. And maybe off camera I can just change it. There we go. Well, now that's my first mishap for this video. Like I generally say, you know, if something doesn't go wrong, it's not right. All right, so that'll go in there, 
and then the center one. And they just overlap the pocket above them, and that's just fine. Now, like I say, you can put your little um, thumb hole in there if you want. But I think it's I think it's okay without without. And then that's what the center will look like. Nope, that's not. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe this is what the center looks like. Yeah, I'm going to have to go in with my ruler. These are for the front. It's not hard to confuse me. I have a lot of pieces. I have to stop and figure out what I'm doing. I think I want to just barely trim the bottom of this off. Just a little tiny bit. And I don't have to worry about adjusting the paper underneath. Let me see. Around my corners. Now all of my corners on my tags and my pockets I've rounded everything because I think I guess in my mind I like it better I think it it looks neat and I think they just slide in and out easier let me trim just a little tiny bit more And that should be good. And there, and that slides in better. So that's what the center will look like. Okay, now we'll just take the tags out and do the back. Keep them separated from the front and then I'll know where they go. All right, now on the back, I have a little fold out I have a pocket that's going to go here pockets going to go here this is going to glue on here and this is going to sit down in the pocket now this is just going to be a little fold out And you'll be able to take it out of the pocket, turn it over, and use it which, whichever way you want. And there's a lot of journaling space on there. So first I'm going to fix my glue, put my lid on for a minute. anyone else altered um, tags to make it work different ways I'm just going to use glue stick on this also I like to sit and think What I can do to all of this different stuff to just make it different and you can make it your own. You can take an idea and run with it. So many different things. And it's fun being creative. Now I'm just going to glue this on the back.
I have it. The paper is just barely cut smaller than the cardstock is. Okay, so that'll be the top, and we'll just take it out and open it up. And then we can turn it over, and we have all of that for writing. So I thought that was a good idea to put in a pocket. And I'm just going to put this on here. And even though... I said I wanted to do more today. I think I think I'm only going to do one. One each time because there's so many pieces. And one is what I actually planned to begin with and then I tried to change my mind. And I really shouldn't change my mind when I'm doing something. All right, now this pocket, I'm just going to glue on the three sides. Still have to put my, um, my ribbon in my tags and just embellish the front a little tiny bit. I don't want to keep anybody too long because then you get bored watching the video. But I hope everyone is enjoying it so far. I hope everyone is able to follow along with what I'm doing. And then that'll just sit in there. So I want to let that sit for just a minute because this makes a little bit, well, that doesn't help it. Makes a little bit of a hump in there. Okay. So now, we you know, these all go here. This goes here, and these go on the front. So now I'm going to put... Oh, where did it go? I'm going to put black ribbon in my tags. This is how I have to make my holes. A little fashioned way, so I just shoot little pieces of paper all over the place. I'll just go ahead and cut all of them at one time. And I would just ask if you like the video and you want to see more of them, I just ask that you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And if you like what I'm doing today, just give me a thumbs up. So this is just going to be like a little series on um, standalone journal tags. Okay. I'm just going to put it through the hole and tie it around. If anyone has any comments or suggestions, I just ask that you leave them in the comment section down below. If you like my video, I just ask you to let me know. 
Okay, so there's that one. Two of the, the journal tags that I'm going to make are going to have holiday paper on them. And I think they're going to turn out cute. Alright, so we can put these in as we're going. So we just have to let that lay down a little bit. Just kind of put it behind it. I don't think I thought that up real good about putting that ribbon in there. It can stick out that way. And maybe it can just go in there a little sideways. Doesn't have to go in there all the way. That'll work just fine. So I think I'm going to leave the the ones that are more Christmassy, I'm going to leave them till the end. So we'll put that in there. Almost done. This is why I want I like to have all my stuff prepared because like this would have taken me probably more than an hour to do. Nobody wants to sit and watch me that long. I don't want to sit and watch me that long. Okay, so the little one goes in the top, and then the middle one, and I think with the rounded corners, they slide in there nice. Now, if you find that your ribbon doesn't want to hold because the ribbon is slippery, you can just dab it with a little tiny bit of um, glue. card is kind of bent. There we go. And we can just leave that like that. Now, this one will go under here. I don't think I should have put the toppers on them. I think I should have just left them. But his ribbon can hang out there. Now we just have to put the ribbon on the little ones. I didn't make these in advance, so I didn't really know what to expect. A lot of times I will make at least one in advance. It took me a little while to get this all figured out. And the different things that I wanted to do so, I just got all of my pieces ready and kind of looked at them and thought, yep, that'll be good.
Okay, now we'll stick this in this back folder. I mean, in the back pocket. And then on the front, just to dress it up a little bit. I didn't want to put anything on that is all kind of busy. So I didn't want to put anything on that was going to be too bold. So I'm just going to put some white, some little white gems down through here. Mm, I better use my other Fabri-Tac. It doesn't come out so fast. I just have to glue them on. I was going to do white lace for the ties, but I didn't have any black gems. So I have clear, but I didn't think they showed up good enough. So just decided I would do the white gems. And I think they'll show up good. So we'll just put one in the center and then one on each side. Have this thing about odd numbers. Have a little glue on that. There we go. I'll have to take that glue off of that little gem. Alright, so we'll just do a quick walk through and then we'll be all done. And I hope everyone enjoyed the video today. So we have these two tags on the front with a pocket. Just stick that one under there like that. Put these in sideways. To open it up underneath this pocket we have a good size journaling tag and then over here we have three smaller journaling tags I would tend to call it an interactive project and then we take this out and we have our little fold out. So that's our tag for today. And I just hope everyone enjoyed it. And I hope everyone stops back to see my other tags. So until then, everyone, thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.